Good morning, I'm Janie Parrish with the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce, and you are zooming into business with our girlfriend, Heather McMaster. So good morning, Miss Heather. Good morning, good to see you. You too, we haven't seen each other in quite some time. I yeah. know, it's been too long. Boy, that's for sure. Okay, so before we get into talking about your financial advising uh, business, I know that you have a million connections to Wadsworth, so I wanted to ask if you would share those with us. Yeah, we have some roots here in Wadsworth. My grandparents on my father's side uh, moved here, I believe, in the 40s. I might need to ask my uncle, uh, <laughs> you know, exactly when, but I think it was around the 40s had a dairy farm out on Wall Road. And so all of my uncles and my one aunt went to Wadsworth. Um, my aunt Stephanie owned the substation, which now my cousins Matt and Shelly Reed run. Uh, my uncle Dallas Jones worked for the city for many years up until his uh, unfortunate death in 2008. Uh, his son Josh Jones owned Guy Home Solutions here in town. So, um, you know, we have some roots here. Boy, that's amazing. Yeah. I tell you, and it, and feels, I <laughs> it feels good to have roots, doesn't it? it yeah, is, it is. Yeah. So tell us about your business, please. Well, I'm a financial advisor with Edward Jones and, um, you know, I do comprehensive uh, planning and strategies around, uh, you know, planning for retirement, um, planning for education, uh, insurance planning. So it really runs the gamut. Boy, and what's so unique about Edward Jones? Um, I, you know, there's three things that really stood out to me. Uh, you know, the first was the culture, you know, really from the top down, you know, the central message is put your client first, you know, in everything we do. And I think that's imperative when you are working with people's money is it needs to be client centric and really focused on their best interests. Uh, I think secondly, I appreciate that it's a private firm. So it's not publicly owned. There's no shareholders to answer to. So again, we can really be focused on our clients' needs. And lastly, I, you know, as a firm, we carry no debt. And that's important to me. I don't think Jones has ever carried any debt. So structurally, we're very sound. Oh boy, that those are three good things, especially with the well, with any business, but especially with the financial sure. advisor. Those are terrific. Hey, um, and I did want to ask you, how did you get into the financial advising uh, business? Well, I have um, two brothers that are financial planners, and it was primarily my brother-in-law who had been after me for years saying, you need to do this uh, for a myriad of reasons. One, um, he thought I was just very, you know, I had the natural skills to do this uh you know the fact that also i'm a woman and as we know nothing against men i have five brothers <laughs> uh, but we need more women in the financial um arena and so he felt like that was an attribute and he really really encouraged me to and he's also with Everett jones both of them are he really encouraged me that you know you're going to do this this is where you need to be and so with his encouragement and push, um, I did. And I'm glad I did. Oh, he was great. right. Now, um, and I wanted to ask too, in the, um, I said financial advisor, you say financial planner. Are there differences or are those terms interchangeable? Well, yeah, that's a good question. So semantics, yeah, they do get interchanged. Mm -hmm. um, technically, Jones, you know, unless you're carrying, they really don't want that totally mixed up, but you're still creating a plan. I guess you could say financial strategies, but really at its core, fundamentally, it is 
sitting down with individuals and really understanding who they are as people, mm-hmm. their relationship with money, their story, and then analyzing every facet of their financial picture and comp- you know, compiling a comprehensive plan you know, that's going to meet their goals, their concerns, their needs. Um, and so that truly fundamentally is what creating a plan is. Okay. Well, and then I'm going to together. Well, I'm going to call a, you a financial planner then. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Hey, so tell us, why do you love what you do? Because you do. Uh, I do. I think, you know, that's a, that's a big question. We'll see if I can be concise here. You know, money is personal and people want, I think truly most people want um, someone who's going to advise them and guide them and partner with them who, you know, is ethical and straightforward and honest with them about their money. And that's really just, where I operate from. And then, mm-hmm. you know, I just of getting, building that relationship and knowing that I'm truly looking out for their best interest. There's no agenda. There's no specific product I need to sell, you know, anybody solutions based advice. And I am so passionate about guiding people in an ethical and honest way because I like to sleep at night. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, you know, money isn't my motivator. Yes, we all need to work. We need to make an income. But I love that part of knowing that you're really doing right by people and really putting together, um, you know, strategies that are going to meet, again, their needs. So, um, and the relationship, too. I mean, I'm not transactional. Now, clients can have different levels of relationship, you know, some of them you'll sit in a room and and together and, you know, they just, you can really dig in deep and before you know it, you're crying together over life and, you know, something that happened um, that you guys can relate on. But, you know, some people aren't in that direction, but it's meeting where people are at and still building that personal relationship with them. Because again, it's not transactional for me. I, I couldn't be doing this if it was just transactional and it doesn't meet the that doesn't even meet the the fundamental premise of what creating you know a financial plan and strategies is now um so, how can people find you heather so i'm located in park center building on the first floor right across from the eye doctor's office um, actually matt loveless and i are in the same office so we share a space uh, currently. So if everyone, you know, if you know where the Park Center building is, sure, uh, that's where I'm located, you can call uh, the office and, you know, schedule an appointment, uh, send me an email. Do you want that information? Sure, why not? <laughs> Look me up. <laughs> oh. oh, go ahead. What is your email? Well, it's heather.mcmaster at edwardjones.com. Okay. Well, we did need to have a little information about how to find you, Heather. Yeah. You've been just a great part of our community, and we're so glad that you chose to uh, go into financial planning, and we're glad that you chose Wadsworth to open your practice. Yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Well, we're going to be seeing you soon and hopefully in person. Okay. I know. I do. I'm ready. All right. Well, Heather, thank you so very much for talking to us this morning and we'll see you soon. Sounds great. I'm looking forward to it.